Hey guys, welcome to Kalita Vlogs, and today we're trying something new. So um, I'm going to talk you through how to get the Curse Client and how to get the add-ons going that you want, and then I'm going to show you how to implement them um, in the starting screen in WoW. Um, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to curse.com uh, slash client or just click on client once you get to the website, download for PC, and then follow the instructions from there. And then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to wait until it's loaded and then I would recommend having it always show up on your screen because then you'll see when there's uploads to be had. Um, you right click it, click open curse client, we'll open this up. And then what you're going to do, because I'm assuming you aren't touching this at all, is you're going to go to get more add-ons. And then just let it load it. Um, if you the first time opening it, there'll be a little white bar here loading with orange. And as soon as it's full, you'll see, so there's about 6,300 add-ons here. And the categories are amazing. You can look for ones that help you with achievements. You can look for ones that help you with your specific class, um, specific type, specific roles that you'll play, uh, pets, guild stuff. So here's the tank ones, for example. Um, or we can look at PvP ones, etc. So um, some of them are very general, like Deadly Boss Mods, yes, does help with PvP. This one, yes, will affect stuff that you do in PvP. Gladius is one that is only for PvP, so just kind of bear that in mind when you're uh, looking for them. Make sure you read um, what the add-on itself really does in description. The way you do that, just click on it, and you can do that for ones that you don't have installed either, but just click on it, and then you can go to description, and it will explain what it does, other add-ons that go with it, and all of the features, and how to do commands, etc. Um, so those are great. And then when you've picked the ones that you want, you're going to go to My Add-ons, and I sort them by status so I always see which ones are ready to update. Um, but you will get a little green arrow on the left side of the little flame here, and that will tell you when you're ready to... Uh, <clears throat> excuse me, when um, there's an update. So what'll happen is a little black box like this will show up right to the right of the up-to-date part and it'll say update ready or something to that effect. Click on it, you can have two going at a time. Um, one will be currently downloading and one will be queued. Um, and if you subscribe for premium so you pay curse money, um, you'll get unlimited ones, you get early access to beta and etc. So um, you can see I have 42 add-ons installed. Um, and I should know that these are not all separate ones, so like I have NPC and then I use a secondary NPC one, but it requires the actual NPC to run. Um, or I have Atlas, but I also use all the other Atlas ones. Um, so in terms of ones that I think everybody should have, um, ACE 3 is kind of a requirement. It essentially allows other add-ons to work with the World of Warcraft um, client, more or less. Um, so this one's a very good one to have if you're going to use any add-ons at all. This one's kind of a, a must-have. Um, if you have a lot of alts, I'd recommend Altaholic, but that's only if you play a lot of alts continuously. Um, I'd really recommend Atlas Loot. It's great not only for um, boss drops, but it also works for what you get at various levels of reputation with factions. Um, it has a full list of mounts and pets. Very, very, very helpful. Um, Bagnon, I recommend for everybody. It is a great way to have all of your bags shown in one window um, for both your bank and your regular inventory. Um, it'll also show you, uh, well it showed key rings back when key rings were a thing, and it also will um, allow you to look at what's in your bank when you're not at your bank, assuming that you've looked at it, I think. Yeah, as soon as, assuming that you've looked at it within like I think the last 30 days. Um, but you can't change and you can't move anything, but you can look and see what's in your bank, which is really, really nice. And the other one that I would really recommend everyone getting is uh, TomTom, Tom, assuming you don't use a um, a UI add-on, like uh, Spartan UI defaults coordinates onto the main bar, so it's not really required. But if you use the default UI, if you use uh, Xperl, I know a lot of people use Xperl, if you just use Flat Out Bartender, um, it's nice to have coordinates on screen so you don't have to constantly go to the map and look at their coordinates. So I would definitely recommend that one. So once you get all the ones that you want, make sure you're exited out of uh, World of Warcraft. And then you're going to hop in and I'm going to switch uh, recording programs and I'm going to show you what to do once you get there. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to go to add-ons. And then you're going to make sure you have load out of the add-ons clicked because if you using an add-on that wasn't affected by the previous like big patch um, they might not necessarily update it or if they just don't update it right away and you want to play right away um, 
it won't work. So make sure you click load out of date and that means that it'll use all of the, um, it'll work just like it did before. Um, so as you can see, um, you'll have dependencies. So alcoholic needs data store and data store characters. Um, the other ones need both of those plus the actual alcoholic. So if you turn this off, all of these are going to be off as well. Um, so just bear that in mind so you can see I have some disabled because I found better ones or they don't need them right now or they just weren't working and I'm waiting for them to kind of get their asses in gear essentially. Um, but that's it for this essentially guys. Hope you found that helpful. Please, please, please leave comments down below for video ideas. Like and subscribe if you feel so inclined. Have a beautiful day.